Welcome back, and make no mistake about it, Group F is a cakewalk for Argentina in football terms. They have fresh blood, Bosnia and Herzegovina are in their first tournament. They have familiar foes, Nigeria has been in their group four times out of the last six World Cups for some strange reason. And they have Iran, which is one of the weakest teams in the field. This is all talking about football, not fascinating. So if you take out Messi, and you bring in macroeconomics, how does it go? We'll find out. Here's Group F. Welcome to F. You know the drill. Argentina, Bosnia, Herzegovina. For Argentina, it's Ushuaia. The southernmost city in the world. This is literally where the road ends. Down here in Ushuaia by Tierra del Fuego, you can climb glaciers, watch emperor penguins, or sail to Antarctica. Look at the views. You know what else is cool? One of Ushuaia's sister cities is Barrow, Alaska, the northernmost city in America and only 9,686 miles away. Bosnia and Herzegovina start off with the weirdest assassination ever. The infamous 1914 assassination of Archduke Ferdinand in Sarajevo was a botched job. A six-man crew lined the motorcade. The first man on the route had a bomb, but did nothing. The second man had a bomb and a gun, but did nothing. The third man threw his bomb, but it bounced off the back of the car and blew up in the street. The motorcade sped away, but later took a wrong turn, stopped, and stalled directly where soon-to-be world-famous assassin Gavrilo Princip, one of the three other crewmen, was randomly standing. Did either of these sufficiently fascinate Lisa Andrews? That is amazing. Bosnia-Herzegovina, 3-0. Thank you. Update the scoreboard. Now Iran and Nigeria kick off the cup against each other, and for Iran, it's dashed e loot. In Persian, dashed e loot translates to emptiness desert. Now Death Valley is often mentioned for its record heat, 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Other continents have record highs that are slightly less but still similar, 131 degrees in Africa, 123 degrees in Australia, you get the idea. NASA's Aqua satellite passed over Dashti Loot and recorded a temperature of 70.7 .7 degrees Celsius, which translates to 159 degrees, a clear 25 degrees hotter than Death Valley's record. Nigeria responds with Sharo. In the category of Things You Can Never Do West of Lagos, we have the Sharo Festival. Singing, dancing, and then a bachelor is escorted to the middle of a circle by a beautiful woman. Then there's some play acting, and a man with a whip starts intimidating the bachelor, and everyone's singing louder and faster, and then... He actually starts whipping the bachelor, and if he doesn't stand there and take it, they revoke him of the right to marry. Back once again to referee, it's Alex. The heat of the whip is worse than the heat of the desert. Nigeria, 3-1. to one. Ring it up, and it's time for Argentina-Iran. For Argentina, it's U530. Hey, you'd never guess who showed up outside Mar del Plata on July 10th, 1945. It was U-530! That's right, a German submarine showed up off the shore of Argentina two full months after Germany surrendered. No explanation on where they were for two months, nor why they didn't surrender alongside the rest of the German Navy, nor why no one had any idea on them, nor where the log was, nor why they had chucked their deck gun. Iran responds with Bobby Sands Street. Bobby Sands was a hero of the Provisional Irish Republican Army who died in prison after a 66-day hunger strike. Iran used this to thumb their nose at the United Kingdom. The British Embassy in Tehran is on Winston Churchill Boulevard. It was, anyway, until 1981 when the Iranian government renamed it Bobby Sands Street. The embassy moved their front door to Ferdosi Avenue so they wouldn't have to put Sands' name on every letterhead as their address. And that is how the embassy sits today. A mystery on the sea, a zinger on the land, here's Adam to sort it out. In pop culture, the only thing that beats Nazis are ninjas. Argentina, 3-1. I like it, and we turn to Nigeria, Bosnia, Herzegovina. For Nigeria, it's Zobi the Yam Monster. Meet Zobi, the patron saint of localizing Sesame Street. Since yams are a staple and cookies are rare in Nigeria, you get a monster who shouts, <coughs> Me eat yam! In this Sesame Street, there's letters and numbers and singing, but they also teach kids how to prevent malaria. The street itself isn't New York cobblestone, it's a rural path around a mango tree. Bert, Ernie, and Big Bird still find their way there, and pick up accents along the way. And for Bosnia and Herzegovina, Devil of a Mark. 
The 1995 Dayton Agreement that concluded the Bosnian War replaced all the warring parties' currencies with the Bosnia and Herzegovina convertible mark. It was named such because it was pegged to the German mark, which was retired when Germany converted to the Euro in 2002. But that's fine, while you're in Bosnia and Herzegovina, you can exchange just about anything to convertible marks and back. But Bosnia and Herzegovina territory is the only place you can. No one else exchanges Bosnian convertible marks anywhere. Take one step off their soil and they become glorified bookmarks. We've got a funny voice, we've got funny money, we've got Anne back to figure this one out. Yams for the win! One to zero! Update this scoreboard, we move into our last match day. It's Nigeria-Argentina. For Nigeria, Nollywood. The Nigerian film industry has gone from zero to a $200 million movie business in under 15 years. It's the world's third largest movie industry behind Hollywood and Bollywood. Astounding given that Nigerian movies are typically thrillers or horror movies made in a week on a microscopic budget. In fact, there is no box office in Nigeria. All these movies are sold through street stalls and vendors for a dollar or two each. Argentina's last shot, Burgernomics. The Economist publishes the Big Mac Index. See, every country has McDonald's restaurants, so the difference in how they price Big Macs says something about inflation. In 2011, editors found that in Argentina, the price had gone up 19% while reported inflation was only 10%. In restaurants, the Big Mac was hidden at the bottom of menus and discounted up to 50%. Apparently, to hide inflation, Argentina's government suppressed the price of the Big Mac. In retaliation, McDonald's owners tried to sell as few as possible. Money going up in a good way, money going down in a bad way, Ryan's here to figure it out. Money doesn't really do it for me. Tie, 1-1. One, one. Thank you, Group F closes out with that odd couple, Iran versus Bosnia and Herzegovina. And speaking of odd couples, we have the clerics. Remember the pina colada song where anonymous lovers meet and find out they're married? It happened to quote-unquote sweetie and quote-unquote prince of joy, known better as Sana and Adnan cleric. The couple from central Bosnia grew close through chatroom conversations where they commiserated over their troubling marriages. They agreed to meet, and well, Sana said it best, It was amazing! We seem to be stuck in the same kind of miserable marriages. How right that turned out to be. Unlike the song, they got divorced. Iran's last hope is fertility follies. Some basic trends here. Over the past few decades, marriage rates in Iran have been declining. If they do marry, men and women are both getting married later in life. And once they do get married, the divorce rate has tripled. Add all this up and what do you get? The single largest measured freefall in fertility in the history of mankind. At the current trajectory, Iran's population is going to start shrinking within 20 years. If this doesn't change, they'll be 50% smaller by the end of the 21st century. To close out Group F, our expert on love, relationships, and babies, Eric Tomlinson. It seems like everyone's miserable here. Zero, zero. So Nigeria sails on through to the next round. Between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Argentina, they go to tiebreaker, and on the strength of that 3-0 win, it's Bosnia and Herzegovina who proceed. Come back for Group G. In G, we'll ruin both Christmas and Vegas for you, plus the stone that moves and the stone you move into. You'll see.